Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. There's a lot of new items to see in this video because we're combining last week's new arrival with this week's new items in one video. So let's check out and see what's popping off the shelves. Spring is springing with so many new beautiful flowers, so I always have to stop and look. These are always great for gifts, especially with Mother's Day coming up and Teacher Appreciation Month, I think is in May. If flowers aren't your thing and you want to switch it up, there's snow-capped cacti in pots for $7.99. There's also gardenias for $6.99 and lots of assorted bulbs to choose from for $3.99. These are such a great deal. And then these pretty pink premium calla lilies for $9.99. There's also large double rose tulips. These are probably my favorite right now. And these are $6.99. Also, these wooden flowers have returned, which are so pretty. The ivory and beige flowers are neutral, which can match so many things and go with just about any vibe. I think these range from $5 to $10, depending on the bouquet you pick. Plums are back in season. These are labeled extra sweet, and you get two pounds for $6.99. Honey pearl grapes are also back in season. I've always wanted to try these grapes, but they always look soft and over ripened. But please let me know if they have a good snap or not. This is a two pound package and this is $7.99. There is another new dried fruit up in the mix, dried Australian red papaya, which is unsweetened and unsulfured. It comes in a one and a half ounce bag. So far the reviews have said they are dry and really chewy, which actually sounds delicious to me, but I know a lot of people prefer their dried fruits more soft and this is $2.99. I know a lot of people love the chili spiced mango, which has been a staple at Trader Joe's, and this is $2.49 a bag, and it also was today's sample. It does have a spicy kick and some warmth to it, and the mango was soft and not leathery like some dried fruits can be. Great as a snack or even to add to a charcuterie board for a contrast of flavors. Moving on to the bakery section, there's new lemon flour cookies. These are shortbread cookies with a lemon jam center. These are so cute. Again, this is great for Mother's Day or for just celebrating spring one cookie is 140 calories and seven grams of sugar and it's 5.99 a box for 18 cookies i got really lucky because this was today's sample it's kind of hard to tell unless you really look at it closely but it has sugar crystals on top which i know some people love but i hate the addition of more sugar on top even though there wasn't a lot of lemon jam filling it gets really sticky on your finger Honestly, these were just okay at best and something I'd eat if there was nothing else to choose from. Honestly, not worth the $6 in my opinion, but everyone has their own version of good, so if you like it, please let us know. I wanted to pick up the lemon arugula salad kit, but then spotted the elote chopped salad kit is back. This includes a veggie blend with cornbread crouton crumbles, cotilla cheese, and a creamy elote style dressing. This isn't my favorite salad, but it's nice to have on rotation and is $3.99. So this is the potato salad we have in California, but there's a new potato salad that has arrived on the East Coast, which is also $4.99. And I heard that it does contain celery, so it has a little crunch to it. Moving along in the refrigerated section, another fan favorite has returned the sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli if you're expecting a savory ravioli this isn't it it's definitely sweet but you can add a savory sauce like pesto or a friend of mine likes to bread this with panko crumbs and air fry it and this is $3.99 there's yet another tortilla to choose from in the tortilla section, and that is the Sonora style flour tortillas. It is 130 calories per tortilla with 20 grams of carbs. Sodium is 180 milligrams, and there's two grams of protein. 12 come in a bag for $2.99. Also, the Bake at Home Organic Garlic Bread has arrived. This is a split loaf, fully seasoned with garlic, parmesan, and herb spread, so there's nothing you have to add to it. Let's take a closer look. It's a little shorter than a loaf of bread, but it's still a decent size, and it comes vacuum sealed. You can see on the side where a little bit of the spread is, and then here is the back side. And here are the nutrition facts and ingredients. You can warm it up in the oven or on the grill. Always a good option to pair this with pasta. There's so many good reviews on it already, and this is $3.99. Onion confit swirls. I feel like people either love this or hate it, and I'm in the latter group. I got these for the holidays last year. It tasted like French onion soup, so I love the flavor, but the texture just didn't do it for me. It wasn't light and crispy, but slightly more dense and flaky and powdery. I haven't seen the pretzel breadsticks in a while, so these caught my eye. These were new last year. These look so delicious to me. If you have tried it, please let us know if you thought they were salty, because that's what most people have complained about with these pretzels. So it looks like there's 130 milligrams per bread stick and this is $2.49 a box. The baked pillow pizza crisps are still here but only for a limited time and these are $1.99. 
Matzah is back if you need to grab some for Passover, which starts on April 22nd. In previous years, it used to come in a green box, which I tried and I didn't love it, so they might have changed vendors because the packaging is definitely new and now comes in this black box. I like to add just a little bit of butter and some jam on it, and this is $2.69 a box for 14 pieces. The rosemary croissant croutons have been in my store almost all year, I think, but I think the East Coast, it might be a seasonal item and it has returned, so just want to give you guys a heads up if you are looking for them. They're back and these are $3.99 a bag. The organic lemon torchietti pasta is back. This is a nice and light option for the spring or summer months. Also, you can pair this with the lemon alfredo sauce, which is also back in season right now, and this is $2.99 a box. Heading over to the cheese section, there's a new cheese, Ivy's Reserve Somerset Red. It says it's rich and creamy and tangy, nutty, mellow and Moorish, and made in Great Britain. 120 calories per ounce with 7 grams of protein, and this is $5.49 for a 7 ounce block. Dorothy's Garden Secrets is still here if you want to give it a try before it's gone for another year at $7.99. And just a reminder, the Meyer Lemon Cake box is back, which I'll be reviewing at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And ube season is back, you guys. The ube mochi pancake and waffle mix, this is gluten-free. It took me years to try this, and when I did, I loved it so much that I stocked up on it and then got sick of it. So I'm going to take a break from it this year, but this is soft and slightly chewy and bouncy, and it already comes a little bit sweetened. For this mix, you will need water, eggs, and a little oil or butter, and this is $3.99 a box. Ube pretzels are also back. These are teeny tiny pretzels covered in ube yogurt candy coating. I tend to always pick a bag where the pretzels are stale, so I stop buying these seasonal pretzels. These are $3.49 a bag, but I saw this go up to $4.29 a bag in San Francisco, so it just depends on the location. Ube Jojos are also back. These are vanilla flavored sandwich cookies with ube cream. Generally, I don't like the coated Jojos mostly because they're way too sweet, which I find people seem to say the same thing about this particular flavor. But also there's a lot of people who really seem to love it and swear by it. These are 120 calories, 11 grams of sugar, and are $3.69 a box. The French chocolate crepe wafer cookies are still here for $2.99. The ube tea cookies, which are shortbread cookies with powdered sugar on top, are also back. This is another one where people thought this was just okay or absolutely loved them, and these are $3.99 a box. The cinnamon bun inspired JoJo's are also seasonal, so grab them if you want them for $3.49. The Cheesecake Inspired Truffles collection is back and comes with four flavors. Every season Trader Joe's comes out with a seasonal truffles collection. They have one in the fall and one during the holidays and this one is for spring. But I haven't seen one for summer yet so maybe this is the year. Here are the nutrition facts, 95 calories per piece with 7 grams of sugar. The four flavors are milk and dark chocolate with vanilla cheesecake, milk and dark chocolate with salted caramel cheesecake, milk and white chocolate with raspberry cheesecake, milk and white chocolate with lemon curd cheesecake, and these are $4.99. The vegetable pad thai has been around forever and is a fan favorite, and the Thai green curry is really good, it's really spicy. I'm in this section because I wanted to share a sneak peek of a new item coming this summer, and it's a vegan pad siu, which I'm so excited about. Not sure on the price or ETA just yet, but I'll keep you updated. Also, here's another new sneak peek at vegan meatballs, which will be arriving in the summer as well. And also, there's one more new item that will be coming soon, and that is the super strawberry sorbet, so keep an eye out for those three items. Also, just a reminder, there's strawberry mochi, and also I feel like I haven't seen the green tea mochi in a while. Right now, there's three flavors, green tea, vanilla, and strawberry. The ube mochi is probably going to return any day now as well, now that ube season has started. These are gluten-free and $4.99 a box. The apple tartlets are still here from the holidays, so if you haven't had a chance to try them yet, they're still around, and these are $4.99 a box. And there's also a new treat for dogs called Nothing But Sweet Potato because it literally only is sweet potato with no other ingredients or fillers. This basically looks like dehydrated sweet potato and are a product of Canada. These are $4.99 a bag. Also, the pitted amarina cherries with stems arrived a couple weeks ago. These can be put into cocktails or mocktails or on ice cream, yogurt, and these are $4.49 a jar. I feel like I haven't seen the tomato and red onion focaccia in a while. This came out last year and was pretty good, but you might want to add some kind of dipping sauce like a marinara, pesto, or garlic spread to zhuzh it up a little bit, and this is $2.99 a box. 
Springtime at Trader Joe's is also shortbread cookie season, which means the pink and whites cookies are also back. These are yogurt covered cookies with sprinkles. This falls into the category of very cute, but just isn't all that great in terms of taste. And that's just my opinion. These are $4.49 a box. There are lots of organic tea to choose from. And there's also an organic cold brew black tea concentrate that makes up to one gallon of tea. And this is $4.99. Now on to more new items. There is a new California organic extra virgin olive oil that is cold pressed. Here's a quick look at the nutrition facts and this is $7.99 a bottle. There's also a new coffee, Ethiopian Guji, an organic light medium roast small lot coffee with notes of dried fruit, fresh berries, and warm spices. You can either use a French press or do an automatic drip and this is $9.99 a bag. Also, La Colombe came out with a new double draft latte, which is a cold brew with oat milk. It has 120 milligrams of caffeine per can, 120 calories, and 6 grams of sugar. Unfortunately, it does contain canola oil in it. For what it's worth, I've heard good reviews on it, and this is a bit pricey at $2.99 a can. And I love the power to the juice line. These are all delicious, but the green juice is my favorite out of the four flavors. The other two flavors being the power to the red, and they also have a power to the vitamin C. This is $4.99, and they were sampling it today in store. To me, this basically tasted like a Concord grape juice mixed with cherry and cranberry juice, totally giving like 80s and 90s vibes. It's good, but it's very grape forward. And that's it for shopping this week. Now let's get into this week's Trader Joe's haul. But first, let's start with some items I picked up at Sam's Club. I've been on a carrot kick lately. I roast up half the bag and then the other half, I cut them into coin slices and snack on them before lunch or dinner. A bag of my favorite sweet and crunchy MV apples, which I already started eating. Also got the autumn crisp green grapes which have been so good and crispy for a few weeks now but the new batch has been slightly soft lately. I like to roast up cauliflower and have it throughout the week for a quick side dish. Asparagus, the prices are slowly starting to come down but you guys know I have this throughout the year. They also had broccolini which I prefer so I picked that up instead of the broccoli florets that I usually get. And now on to Trader Joe's. I got the lemon arugula basil salad kit to have with some pizza which you will be seeing soon. Murasaki sweet potatoes are the superior sweet potatoes in my opinion. I love roasting these up, cutting them in half, and then roasting them up again until the edges get a little crispy and then pouring some nut butter over it, some bananas. First time picking up the spicy meat pizza. I've been wanting to try this since it first came out and friends were coming over so I thought this was a good time to finally try it. It didn't cook as evenly as I would have liked but compared to the other pizzas that Trader Joe's has, I was impressed that the crust didn't dry up like a cracker which always tends to happen with the thinner crust pizzas and which is why I also stopped buying them. This was a little thick and more hearty than typical frozen pizza and I didn't find it spicy at all. Really enjoyed this one. And then I got the Meyer lemon cake in the previous haul but I wanted to share my thoughts on it and this is how it turned out before I added the frosting. It came out evenly browned and looked like a typical cake loaf and it also comes with a frosting mix which you will need two tablespoons of butter and one to two tablespoons of hot water. I poured it on top and it settled really nicely. The icing is where most of the lemon flavor came from while the cake itself had a mild lemon flavor. This was my contribution to a friend's barbecue and everyone seemed to enjoy it. It was a slightly dense cake because it was made with butter instead of oil. Overall I thought it was pretty good but it's not worth the hype in my opinion. I also made a few muffins on the side since the cake loaf was for the barbecue and I experimented by adding fresh raspberries and these came out more moist due to the fresh fruit. I probably wouldn't buy this again though but if I do I might add oil instead of butter to see how it turns out. Now back to the haul and impulse buy the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I like putting this in the freezer and having one as a treat. The roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crust. This is another one that has been on my list to try for a while now and I just never got around to. Here's what it looks like still frozen with the four Italian cheese blend and dollops of pesto and the brown bits are the roasted garlic and this is how it came out fully cooked. This tasted like a really yummy garlic bread you would get at a restaurant. I think this would be a great side dish for pasta or with a nice big salad, also great for kids. And next time I think I'll dip some marinara sauce on the side. And then I went back to film a few more items for this video so I picked up some more bananas and made some chubby choices. I picked up the lemon madeleine cookies because so many of you raved about it and then I also decided to try the lemon cake again this year which I absolutely loved last year but I have to say this year it was a total bust. The cake wasn't dry like a lot of people complain about but it was more dense and I really felt like I was eating a different cake altogether this year. I could barely taste the cream cheese and the frosting 
I remember really enjoying the frosting last year and I remember this because I'm not a frosting type of girl. I usually scrape it off. I don't know if they changed the recipe, but this year everything was just so sweet. And then I went over to my friend's house after she and I did our Trader Joe's run together and she decided to waffle the croissant swirls and look how cute it came out. Anything and everything can be waffled these days, so you might want to give it a try. My friend also picked up the truffle mousse pate made with chicken, which I've been wanting to try forever also, but never got around to because I know I'll be the only one eating it and I didn't want it to go to waste. She paired it with the mini frozen French baguettes, which was a nice alternative to crackers. It definitely tasted like chicken liver and mushrooms. It was very gamey, but I enjoyed it. This was very rich and I could see this go really well with a glass of red wine. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and until the next video, ciao guys!